Hey everyone, I made a game. This character here is either using a fair coin that comes up heads and tails in equal numbers over time, or it's using a coin that comes up heads too often. It's cheating. And our goal here is to ideally catch this cheater or leave it alone if it's playing fairly, ideally using the smallest number of coin flips we can. We start with 100 flips and the game ends when they run out. So let's flip a few more here. Pretty even so far. So three and three, I think I'm gonna call this one fair. Uh, if I'm correct, I'll get 15 bonus flips added to my pool. But if I'm wrong, I'll get 30 taken away and be closer to losing. So let's try it out. Okay, got that one wrong. I think I should probably flip. Uh-oh. That one uh, didn't go so well, but wow, two in a row. Okay, well, I, hopefully the, it still works out. But uh, anyway, that was embarrassing. Uh, all right, so a couple more flips. This one's looking fair as well so far. I'll do five more. Hopefully they don't fly off the edge. That one scared me. A couple more. So this one is starting to show a few more heads. I'm going to turn off the animations, look at a few more. At this point, I think I want to call it a cheater. Okay, so we got it right. We got our bonus coins. So I'll do a few more. These... Um, or this game leads into the next main video, which is about the statistics behind a situation like this, where you have um, not necessarily limited data, but data has a cost. So you want to understand the trade off between how much accuracy you can get for a given amount of data. All right, this one looks like a cheater. I am using too many, even with my bonus, I'm not getting, I'm, uh, I'm running out of flips. Ideally, you can, uh, keep going for quite a while, but not this time, perhaps. Though now, see, I got two and seven. I think this one's also a cheater. Uh, so sometimes you gain flips. Uh, but anyway, uh, that kind of situation comes up a lot in real life. Uh, science being a prime example where you don't get an infinite amount of data and you have to try to make a decision as well as you can. So uh, since I was making that video anyway in a game engine, Unity is where I make these videos, I figured I might as well make a version that people could play with uh, to try it out themselves. So that's what this is. All right. Um, after a rough start, it feels like I've stabilized a little bit. I don't know. This one's pretty even looking. Uh, I'm going to call this one fair. So we got it right, but we did use 25 coins. I think for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use the rest of them uh, and purposely get it wrong. So I'm gonna call this one a cheater, even though it's biased toward tails, the cheaters are biased toward heads. So just to purposely get it wrong to see the end, end screen. Let's see, so we scored five. Not the best score in the world. And we can see how often we got it wrong given a fair player or a cheater. Uh, so now we can enter uh, into the scoreboard. I like the red blob. Oh, not the sunglasses. The star shades. Those are the ones I like. Uh, my name is Justin. So I'll submit this. Uh, let's see, we can look at the leaderboard right now. Uh, there seems to be, I did get a 21 at one point. Alejo Lab is here in the lead, but I imagine all of these scores will be uh, beaten before too long. Ooh, looks like I have, the leaderboard is a little too long, so I have to fix that. Um, but uh, should be fixed by the time you're seeing this video. The email is for if you want to enter a drawing for one of these plushies. Uh, I'm gonna give away 10 of them to bribe you to try this game out. Five of them are gonna go to the top five people on the leaderboard. Uh, I should add a time limit on that. Let's say uh, the top five people on the leaderboard at the end of April, and uh, five of them will go to, uh, will be drawn from anybody who finishes the game and submits their email. I won't submit my email since I already have one, but um, yeah, that's, that's there. That's, uh, I think that's it. Let's see what else. 
Oh yeah, uh, this is uh, available on web browsers. You can find it at primerlearning.org. Uh, it's also on the Google Play Store. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Hope you like it. And uh, I'll be excited to see what people score. Also, there is a Primer Discord server. So if you're playing the game and want to share your scores with others or talk strategy, that's there. I'll put the link in the description. This game and these videos are funded by viewers like you through Patreon. I'm trying to get away from a model where I have to sell your attention to keep the lights on. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're able to give something, I'd very much appreciate it and it'll help more of these come out more quickly in the future. Thanks.